Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to continue with the same lesson that is the HCF and LCM, and we are going to study the further part of the lesson that is the division method for finding the HCF. So, in the previous videos, we have learned how to find the HCF of the given numbers by using the prime factor method, and in this, now let us learn how to find the HCF by using division method. So here I have taken one example that is find the HCF of 144 and 252. So students we are going to use the division for that. For that first we need to draw one symbol of our division. Normally how we do in this way isn't it? That division symbol we have to draw. Now the number, which number should we write inside? So, the given numbers are 144 and 252. From this, the greater one, that is, and fifty two. So this number we are going to write inside and the smaller one is 144 that we will write here outside. So 252 will become our dividend. Okay. So we'll write here 252 as dividend and 144 as divisor. So here we know that we are going to say the table of 144. Yes, it is big number. So we are going to do the rough work and write the table. So I am doing here 144. 1 is equals to 144. 144. 2 is equals to 288. Double, isn't it? 100 is double. 200. 44 is double. 88. So 144. 2 is 288. Now we want 252. Are we getting 252? No. 14 2 is 288 which is greater than 252. So we cannot use it but we can use a smaller number that is 144. So 144 when do we get? When we multiply by 1. So now see usually we write the quotient here above. Yes, but now what we have to do students here, we will draw one C like structure here. So we will write 144 1s are 144. Got it how to do? So now we have written here 144 1s are 144. Did you understand how to write? So after writing we always do subtraction. Yes or no? So here I will write minus sign. Now we will carry out subtraction. 2 minus 4 cannot be done. So we are going to borrow number from 5. Then it will be 4 there. So I will write here 4. And we will give to 2 it becomes 12. 12 minus 4, 8. 4 minus 4, 0. And 2 minus 1, 1. So now we got remainder as 108. Yes. So, as we are going to find out HCF students, now this remainder will turn to divisor. See, so what to do further? 108, now we are going to consider it as divisor. As we are going to consider it as divisor, we have to draw division sign here now. Got it? So, what we are going to write inside now as a dividend, that is the previous divisor. What is the previous divisor? 144. The previous divisor will now become dividend. Okay. So, see, yeah, now we are going to say 108 stable and we are going to find 144 in it. See, I will just write here in the rough work 108 1s are 108, 108 2s are 100s double 200, 8s double 16. It will be 200 and 16. Yes or no? So I will write here. 108 2 is 216. Now 216 we cannot utilize because 144 is smaller. So we are again going to use 108 1 is 108. How to write here? 108 1 is 108 minus. So see. Now, 
do the subtraction of these two numbers. So, we will do here. Now, 4 minus 8 cannot be done. So, we will borrow something from the next number. 1 we are going to borrow. So, the next number is 4. If we borrow 1 from it, we will have 3 there. Yes. So, we will cut and write here 3 and this becomes 14. Now, 14 minus 8. What is that? Correct. 14 minus 8 is 6. 3 minus 0, 3. And 1 minus 1, 0. So, now we are getting 36 as a remainder. We are going to continue this division till we get remainder 0. But now we are having 36. We didn't get 0. So, what we will do students? Now, we are going to consider this 36 as a divisor again. Huh? So, now what will be our new divisor? 36. And dividend for this will be the previous divisor. What is the previous divisor? See, before 36, the divisor was 108. Yes? So, now we are going to use 108 as a dividend. So, see, we will write here 108. Now we are going to say 36 table. Okay. So see 36 ones are 36. 36 twos are what is double of 36? 72. 36 threes are we will do here itself. See 3 six are 18. 3 threes are 9 plus 1 10. Did we get 108? 36 threes are is 108. So, here we will write 36 threes are 108 minus. When you subtract, now you are getting remainder 0. That means your division is completed. Okay. So, when did you get 0 as a remainder? When you use 36 as a divisor. Yes. So, students, you can say that the HCF of 144 and 252 is 36. The last divisor becomes the HCF. So now we can write that the HCF of 144 and 252 is 36. Okay. So students, I hope you have understood this new division method of finding the HCF. So, after solving practice set 12 question 1, you are going to write the division method for finding the HCF and you are going to write this example. No need to write this side tables whatever I have written because this you are going to do in rough books and this is the main sum. So, just write this part. Okay, whatever is here. Now, I will teach you. See once again, listen carefully. HCF of 144 and 252 is 36. That means this both the numbers are divisible by 36. Means both these numbers come in table of 36. 36 how much are when we find then. Then we come to know their simplest form. Okay, so I will tell you or teach you how to find the simplest form of the given number. So, the first two numbers are 144 and 252. I will write it down 144 and 252 is equals to. Now, HCF is 36. That means these two numbers are divided by 36 or they are divisible by 36. Means they both come in 36 table. Now 36 how much are 144? We will search here. See, I will just write here 36 into 4. See, 4 6 are 24. 2 is remaining. 4 3 is 12. 12 plus 2, 144. So did we get the answer 144? So 36 how much are 144? 4 is are. So we will write that 4 here. Upon, now we are going to find out 36, how much are 252. So, we will just search here, see. 36 multiplied by 5, we do. We will just check. 5, 6 is 30. 5, 3 is 15 plus 3, 80. It is not divisible. Now, 36 we will divide with 7 because 6, 7 is 42. 
yes now do we have two adds units place and here also we have 252 so 2 only is there at units place now we will multiply further and check 7 3s are 21 21 plus uh, 4 will give us 25 so here we are getting 252 so 36 how much are 252 7s are so students this 4 upon 7 is the simplest form of 144 and 252 and this we have got only because of the HCF that is 36. So I hope you have understood this division method and also how to convert it into simplest form. So write this down in your CW. This rough work don't do just write the fair work. So now after writing the notes we are going to begin with practice set 12. We have already solved question 1. Now we are going to seek about question 2. Find the HCF by the division method and reduce to the simplest form. Okay. So the first number what I am going to take that is our first sum from our textbook it is 275 upon 525. So here we are going to use the division method. Yes. So what you are going to do? First you will write the division symbol. Okay. That is in this way. And always remember students, the greater number you are going to take inside. So 275 and 525, which is the greater one? 525, that number you will write inside. And the smaller number you are going to write outside, that is 275. Now we all don't know the table of 275. Yes or no? So we are going to first write the table of 275 and search 525 in it. Okay. So see 275 into 1 will be 275. 275 into 2 will be double. What will be that? 2 fives are 10. 2 sends are 14 plus 1 15. 2 fives are 2 twos are 4 plus 1. 5 it will be 550. We want 525 and 550 is greater, isn't it? So what we are going to do? We are going to use this 275 only. So how to write here? 275 ones are 275. Now So now we will first do the subtraction. So minus 5 minus 5 is 0. 5 we will cancel. It will be 4. 1. It will become 12. 12 minus 7. 5. 4 minus 2. 2. So now we have got 250. Yes. So now we will again draw the division sign here in this way. Now our 250 has become divisor. And the previous number which was outside was 275. So that number will go inside now. That is 275 will become divisor. Now again we are going to say 250 table. 251 are 250. 252 are double of that will be 500 yes or no so 500 we cannot use so again students we are going to use 251 are 250 minus 5 minus 0 5 7 minus 5 2 2 minus 2 0 so now we are having the remainder as 25 yes so till we get 0 we are going to do this division yes so now we will consider this 25 is divisor and the previous in outside number was 250 yes or no now 250 we will take inside so we'll write here in this way hmm? now 25 how much are 250 yes we can easily say tens are no so we'll write here 25 tens are 250 minus 0, 0, 0. So now we got the remainder 0. That means our division is completed. And what was our previous divisor? It was 25. So we can say that. 
So therefore the HCF of 275 and 525 is 25. Okay. So now the next thing. We have found the HCF by division method. Isn't it? Now we will reduce to the simple so, form. So what we will do? We will take both the numbers. They are 275 upon 525. Okay. This both numbers. 275 and 525. We are going to divide these both numbers by 25 because 25 is there HCF means they are there in 25 stable. Okay. So now in rough work we will carry out the division. See students 275 divided by 25. 25 ones are 25. So what will remain? 2. Take 5 down. 25 ones are 25. Remainder is 0. Means 25 11 is 275. So here we will write 11. Okay. Now the next number. What is that next number? 525. This is also divisible by 25. So we will again say 25 stable. 25 ones are 25. 25 2. 25 2 is 50. Okay. Minus 2 will remain. Take 5 down. 25 ones are 25 minus 0 and 0. So we can write here 25, 21 are 525. So now we have converted this greater number into the simplest form and the simplest form is 11 upon 25. So students now after the notes write down this sum properly in your CW. No need to write the rough work. So now from the practice set, I will solve one more sum for you. That is 161 upon 69. So these are the two numbers. We are going to find first the HCF by division method and then we are going to reduce it to the simplest form. So from this two, which is the greater number? Yes, 161 is greater. So we are going to write it inside. Okay. And the smaller one, we are going to write it outside as a divisor. Now we are going to say 69 stable. See students, we are going to do rough work here. 69 ones are 69. 69 twos are 2 nines are 18. 1 is remaining. 2 six are 12 plus 1, 138. Next, we will try for the further number whether it is divisible or no. 69 threes are 3 six are 3 nines are 27. So 2. 3 six are 18 plus 2. 207. So 207 is greater than 161. Is it? So we are going to use the smaller number that is 69 twos are 138. Minus 6 we will cut right here 5. Then this becomes 11. 11 minus 8 3. 5 minus 3, 2 and 0. So we have 23. Now which is our earlier divisor? Yes, it is 69. Means earlier outside number was 69. That will go inside now and become device dividend. So 69 I have taken inside. Now 23, 1 is 23. 23, 2 is 2, 3 is 6, 2, 2 is 4. 23, 3 is 3, 3 is 9, 3, 2 is 6. Did we get 69? So 23, 3 is 69 minus 0, 0. Now we got the remainder 0. That means we have got our HCF. So what will be the HCF? Correct. So now the HCF of 161 and 69 is 23. So before we get the remainder 0, whatever is the divisor, that is our HCF. Okay. So now we have got HCF. Now we will convert these two numbers into simplest form. What are the two numbers? 161 and 69. Yes. So 161 
and 69 we are going to divide by the HCF that is 23 means it both these numbers are divisible by 23. 23 is stable you can see here we are having 23 3 is a 69 is it so we can write here 3. Now we don't know 161 how much are 23 how much are 161 but we want 1 at units place isn't it. So we will try divide such a number or multiply not divide multiply such a number with 3 so that we will get at units place 1. So see I am taking 7. I will try with 7. 7 3 is 21. Yes or no? So I have used 7. 7 2 is 14. 14 plus 2 15 16. Got the answer? So 23 7 is 161. So this is the simplest form. 7 upon 3 is the simplest form of 161 upon 69. Okay. So here we have finished our second sum from the practice set. Write it down. No need to write the rough work. And one more sum is remaining. That is 76 upon 133. After solving these two sums, you are going to solve that sum in the CW on your own. So here we have finished practice set 12. Now we have solved question 2 from this practice set 12 and in earlier video we have solved question 1. I hope you have understood it. Solve the sums neatly in your CW.